Let's go ahead and call this meeting to order. And um, our first item on our agenda is our Pledge of Allegiance and our invocation by our city manager. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's bow our heads, please. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we ask for your blessings as we begin this meeting. We ask that you guide us as we consider each item that comes before us, and we pray for your continued blessings upon our community. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We have a report from our Mission Chamber of Commerce. Good afternoon, Mayor and City Council. This past Tuesday and Wednesday, the Chamber, members of the Council, and a few department heads went to the Capitol to represent Mission with many legislatures. We had a productive two days there, and we are thankful for the opportunity that we had. On February 23rd, we held a joint ribbon cutting with the McAllen Chamber and the Brownsville Chamber for Serve Prov McAllen and Alton. We had a great turnout and thankful for those who came to support our newest Chamber members. The Greater Mission Chamber of Commerce and the South Texas Manufacturing Association would like to invite you to our next Business After Hours Mixer, mixer this Thursday at 6 p.m. This is a great networking event that will be held at the Mission Seed Building. That's it for now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Department reports, uh, they're in your packet. <clears throat> um, if there's uh, any changes that you might have, uh, don't hesitate to ask. I move for approval, Mayor, as presented. Se Second, Mayor. We have a motion to second to approve these uh, reports. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Gas motion carries. Citizen participation. Do we have anybody from the audience that would like to address the council concerning any of your concerns? Go ahead, sir. Mr. Mayor and Council Members, my name is Frank Unger. I live at 507 Pisces Street in Aladdin Villa. Thank you for allowing me to speak on behalf of the community in which I live. I represent 470 residents of Aladdin Villa who have signed a petition and I understand that there are other communities that also have signed petitions which read as follows. We the undersigned petition of uh, the city of Mission, Texas, to oppose approval of the permitting required for the federal government's proposed youth retention center to be located at the corner of Stewart Road and Business Highway 83 in Mission, Texas. We are against changing the neighborhood next to us on the corner of Stewart and Business 83, commonly referred to as Valley Baptist Retreat. We were told that it was to house youth 10 to 16 from other countries. We are not against helping and housing young people. We are against any change from what it is now. God only knows how much the children need help in housing, food, education, and most of all, love. We would object to any change, even placing a business or anything else there. Our fear that is allowing anything else than what is there would devalue our property that we have worked so hard in building. The subdivision we live in is all elderly people, and this is, in most cases, our home that we want to live in the rest of our lives. We love the city of Mission, Texas. This proposed change in property use has seemed to grow on the basis of rumors. The residents of Aladdin Villa would request that you keep our corporate board informed of any progress and or change in the future so we may update these residents. This would help alleviate future rumors and calm the apprehension that is building in the residents of Aladdin Villa. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. So far, as far as we can see, they have not presented anything to the city. We have not heard from anybody. Um, 
I know there's rumors out there that they might want to do that, but I want you to feel at ease that um, we do not also support the, the, the program or whatever they want to um, bring to that to that building. I feel that um, they just need to go somewhere else. Uh, I feel sorry. That I feel the same way you do, but the thing is that um, they're just um, unsupervised uh, minors and and in no way that um, that I myself, as a personal person, uh, would allow that to happen uh, in the city of Mission. Uh, I know that they say that they would provide about 300 jobs. Well, we we just don't think it's uh, in the best interest for the, in the citizens of Mission. So I would like for you all to feel at ease and um, that nothing like this is going to happen here. And we'll we'll keep an eye on it for you and don't worry about it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anybody else who would like to address the council concerning any uh, of your concerns? This is citizens' participation, and um, okay, go ahead. This is on the same issue, so I don't know if I should address you again, but um, I submitted, I'm Nancy Hazen from uh, the Mission Bell Trade Winds Resort, and earlier today I submitted the petitions that our resort has signed, and we have a total of 223 residents, and we feel the same as concerns that Aladdin Villas does. Um, so I don't think I have to read this again, do I? No, I don't think Okay, <laughs> so it's all the same we're, issues. We're all so we with would you guys. Uh, uh, appreciate not devaluing our we resort values. Way. We all feel the same way. Thank you. Anybody else that would like to address the council? If not, we appreciate all of you for coming. And don't forget to register to vote. <laughs> We now move on to our public uh, hearing. We'll give ourselves about a five-minute break. Mayor of Council, may some of us be excused? Yes, thank you. <laughs> What is Lincoln High School? This. Where are you going? 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 Yes, uh, good afternoon, Mayor and Council. 1.1A is a public hearing for a rezoning of a 6.65 acre tract of land out of uh, lot 16-2 West Edition to Sherryland Subdivision. Uh, it's zone PUD uh, C2 and the proposal is to R1T. The applicant is Ed Eduardo Gamba and it does require an adoption of an ordinance if the council is inclined to approve. 
On February the 8th, 2017, the Planning and Zoning Commission held a public hearing to consider this rezoning request. The property is located along south, the south side of Mile 1 South between Scenic Way and Los Sevenos Road. There was no op uh, public opposition during the PNZ meeting and the board unanimously recommended approval of the R1T. The um, subject site has uh, approximately 1,245 feet of frontage uh, by a lot, a debt of 200 feet by 249,000. It's 249,000 square feet. The the land use reflects the zoning shown above, and the future land use map reflects the the land use. The uh, staff recommendation at this time is approval of of the R1T. This uh, is a public hearing. This item is now before you. Anybody in favor or against this request? Anybody in favor or against this request? Our ordinance number is 4461. The recommendation is to go ahead and approve the rezoning and approve the ordinance. I move for approval as presented. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. For the approval, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Cast motion carries. Item B. Yes, 1.1B uh, .1 is, is a public hearing for a rezoning of lots. 1 uh, through 22 of Santa Lucia subdivision. It's a uh, R3 to an R1T. Uh, the applicant is Tomas Gutierrez and it does require adoption of an ordinance. On February the 8th, 2017, the Planning and Zoning Commission held a public hearing to consider this rezoning request. The subject site is located 750 feet west of Taylor Road along the north side of Colorado Street. There was no public opposition during the PNZ meeting. The board unanimously recommended approval of the R1T. And this uh, site has 150 feet of uh, frontage by the lot debt of 744.95 feet, uh, approximately about 111,743 square feet. The land use reflects the zoning shown as a future land use map or reflects a high density land use. The staff recommendation at this time is approval and this is a public hearing. This item is now before you. Anybody in favor or against this request? Usted está a favor de la zona, ¿verdad? Sí, vengo a representar a Tomás Gutiérrez y más queríamos saber si se podía. Ahorita parece. Entonces, Tomás, hoy va a usted. Anybody in favor or against this request? If not, the recommendation from um, Planet and Zoning is to go ahead and, and approve the rezoning for the lot 1 and through 22, and also to approve ordinance 4462. Mayor, I want to approve. Second. We do have a motion and a second to approve the uh, request. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Yes, motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Item C. Item 1.1C is a public hearing for a rezoning of lots 10 and 11, Block 169, Mission Original Town Site Subdivision. It is uh, requesting from a C1 to a C3, and the applicant is Ophelia Rojas, and it does require adoption of an ordinance. On February the 8th, 2017, the Planning and Zoning Commission held a public hearing to consider this rezoning request. The subject site is located on the northwest corner of East St. Marie and East Tom Landry Boulevard. There was no public opposition during the public uh, PNZ meeting. The board unanimously recommended approval of the C3 zoning. The uh, future land use map uh, requests uh, uh, reflects a general commercial land use uh, on this uh, general uh, designation. So it, it staff recommendation is approval at this time. It is a public hearing, so this matter is now before you. Anybody in favor or against this request? <coughs> Anybody in favor or against? That's um, <coughs> the reason in the block 10 and 11. <coughs> the lot is ordinance 4463. Move for approval, Mayor. Second, Mayor. Do we have a motion? <coughs> I have a quick question. Does, do, is there access um, on <coughs> in the parking lot, or is it just going to be on Tom Landry? There, there is uh, access on on Saint Marie. There is access. We do have a motion um, okay. to approve. I do need a second. A second. Uh, we have a second. 
Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Against, motion carries. Um, I don't know if we do mention that the approval of the ordinance is 4463. Yes. Okay. This position of minutes, we have a city council meeting that we had on February the 13th of 2017. We do need a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. Second. Second. Do have a motion and a second to approve the minutes. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Against motion carries. Um, the acknowledge of the minutes that we had on our board members. Um, first item is the citizens advisory committee that had a a meeting on January the 10th of 2017. Mission Boys and Girls Club that had a meeting on January the 12th. Planning and Zoning Commission had a meeting on January the 25th. Spear Memorial Library had a meeting on January the 17th. Mission Historical Museum had a meeting on January the 16th. And the Sherry Golf Course Advisory Board had a meeting on November the 15th of 2016. Everything else is 2017. So we need a motion to acknowledge those minutes that we had. I move to approve and receive acknowledge of the minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second to acknowledge the minutes. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Yes, motion carries. Um, approval. Item 4.1. Yes, sir. Uh, item 4.1 is a preliminary plat approval for Sherryland Water Supply Corporation Water Tower Subdivision, a 1.6 acre tract of land out of Lot 1, Hutton Number 1 Subdivision. It's from AOI Developer Sherryland Water Supply Corporation. The engineer is Siegler Winston Greenwood and Associates. On February the 8th. 2017, the Planning and Zoning Commission held a public hearing to consider the preliminary plat approval for Shelland Water Supply Corporation Water Tower Subdivision. The proposed subdivision is located approximately 650 feet south of Mile 3 North on the west side of La Homa. The board unanimously recommended approval as per staff recommendation. Staff recommendation at this time is approval subject to the approval of sewer capital fee variance. The provide water uh, district exclusion and comply with all four findings. Uh, staff recommendations is approval. We do need a motion to approve the preliminary plan. I move to approve. Second. We do have a motion and a second to approve a preliminary plan. Mm -hmm. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Against, motion carries. 4.2. Yes, um, item 4.2 is a preliminary and final plat approval for Eduardo's subdivision number 17, a 20 acre tract of land being the uh, east 20 acres of lot 45-3, west addition to Sherland subdivision ETJ. The developers Anisieto Isaguirre and the engineer is, is, is Aguirre Engineering Group LLC. On February 22nd, 2017, the Planning and Zoning Commission held a meeting to consider a preliminary and final plat approval for Waddle Subdivision Number 17. The proposed subdivision is located approximately 1,350 feet west of Mile 6 Road and Trosper Road intersection. The board unanimously recommended approval as per staff recommendation. The staff recommendation at this time is approval subject to the developer signing an agreement with the City of Mission to connect to Mission Sewer when available, and this agreement will be reflected as uh, a note in the plat and also must comply with the model subdivision rules, comply with street alignment policy, and comply with comments from the county uh, planning department. The staff recommendation is approval. Do need a motion to go ahead and approve the preliminary plat and final plat approval. Move to approve. Second. Do we have a motion and a second? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Against, motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ms. Carrillo. Uh, yes, Mayor Council, good afternoon. Item 4.3 would be approval of Ordinance 4464. This is granting a red designation for 1720 West Business Highway 83, uh, Aguilar's Meat Market. Uh, Mayor Council, this would be for uh, off-premise. This is the new meat market that's being constructed there on uh, Business 83, close to Inspiration Road, and mm -hmm. they're requesting uh, you know, be able to sell uh, beer at their uh, meat market. We do need a motion to approve Ordinance 4464. So move, Mayor. Second. Do we have a motion and a second to approve the ordinance? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Against, motion carries. Item 4.4, Ms. Carrillo. Uh, yes, uh, Mayor Council. This is authorizing the Mayor to execute Amendment Number 1 with the Department of State Health Services Vital Statistics Unit. Um, this amendment, sir, is basically a little bit of housekeeping now that there's a new local registrar. Um, Article 2 now is extending the term of the contract through August 31st of 2018. Uh, they're also uh, allowing us to make sure that all of our, uh, anybody that we do request to find an out-of-town birth certificate, that it is not abused uh, by staff. Uh, they are monitoring us very closely on that. Article 7, uh, building changes, the telephone number and the contact information has changed. And then on uh, the other articles, Article 8, the representative for the city has changed. So this is just uh, authorizing Mayor to execute uh, this amendment with DHS. I move for approval. Second, second. Mayor. We do have a motion and a second to go ahead and authorize the Mayor to execute an amendment number one for the Department of State Health Services. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Against, motion carries. Thank you. 4.5, Mr. Benson. Good afternoon, Mayor, City Council. Uh, this is for the authorization for purchase and installation of concrete light poles and light fixtures for Hollis Rutledge Senior Park Trail. Due to insufficient lighting, due to inf insufficient trail lighting for Hollis Rutledge Senior Park Trail, staff is seeking approval for the purchase and installation of concrete light poles fixtures in order to provide a safer nighttime trail use through approved by board vendor number 456-14 with Facility Solutions Group. The estimated cost of this is $11,655.50. Staff's recommendation is for approval for purchase and installation of light poles and fixtures. So move, Mayor. Second. We do have a motion and a second to go ahead and, uh, to authorize uh, for the purchase and installation of the concrete light poles at Hollis Valley Park. Senior. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Gas motion carries. Thank you. Item 4.16. Oh, I have another one. Yes, sir. Uh, authorization to solicit bids for tile flooring replacement for City Hall. Staff is seeking authorization to solicit bids for the removal and the replacement of ECT tile flooring in the hallways and various offices at City Hall. The estimated cost of this project is $16,000. We do need a motion to go ahead and uh, authorize to solicit bids for the flooring. To replace it on uh, uh, at City Hall. So move, Mayor. Second. Do have a motion and a second? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Rocha. Good afternoon, Mayor and Council. The next item is approval of, uh, the, of the annual Hidalgo County Library System Interlocal Agreement. Hidalgo County is requesting approval of the annual interlocal agreement with them. This agreement allows the county to continue to pay funds on behalf of and disperse funds to the Spearmore Library for contractual services and library materials. So move, Mayor. Second. We do have a motion and a second to go ahead and approve a venue Hidalgo County Library System Interlocal Agreement. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Against, motion carries. Thank you. Ms. Lerma. Mayor and Council, 4.8 is to award bid for Housing Assistance Program Phase 16-1. City Council authorized um, staff to solicit bids for five reconstruction projects. The City of Mission has accepted and opened seven um, responses to these five, uh, five homes. Staff is recommending to award the projects for reconstruction of the following homes to G&G contractors. 1108 North Holland Avenue at 65,000, 
2520 Baisano Street, 59,800. 330 Ertl, 65,000. 1806 North Holland Avenue, 6,500. 65,000, I'm sorry. 104 North Street, 59,800 for a total of $314,600. G&G met all the terms and conditions and specifications and came within budget. Staff is recommend recommending to award approval um, to G&G contractors. Those are all four, three, two bedrooms? Um, now I'm going to need my glasses here. There's a variety, sir. There, most of them are two bedrooms, correct? Two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And the one we make, the one that we're doing for, is fifty thousand. It's on the next agenda, Mayor. Correct. And that one is uh, two bedroom, two bath. This one, this one, sir, at two bed. These are two. Yes. Bedrooms. The difference is these are these are brick, completely brick, and then we've got siding for the next one. And the one that we're building is. It's the next item. Is it Maeda? It's uh, siding and brick. It's a mixture. Oh, okay. Right. Combination. <coughs> so, okay. These are reconstruction, right? Re reconstruction means rebuilt completely. They're going to tear it down. They're going to demolish and, and, yeah. and build a new and one. Build yes, a new one. The other cool. terminology uh, recognized by HUD is rehab. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Well, this is, uh, you're knocking off the house. This is and completely and built, renew. Okay, we need a motion to go ahead and approve the um, the, the bits as they is and and. and uh, so move, Mayor. Second. We do have a motion and a second to go ahead and accept the bids as uh, read by Mrs. Lerma. All those uh, in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Against, motion carries. Uh, item uh, 4.9. Item 4.9 is to award bid for construction of temporary home. Um, City Council had previously authorized staff to solicit bids for the construction of a temporary home. This is going to meet the public need of an emergency um, shelter for homeless or displaced families due to emergencies. The city will retain control of the terms of the use of this said home, including um, that it is a temporary status for these families. The, mission, the City of Mission has accepted and opened six bid responses. For this home, staff recommends to award the construction of a temporary home to Tabeza Holdings in the amount of $50,000. The bid amount was $47,850. I'm sorry, $47,850. That's the lowest bid? That was the lowest responsible bidder. And this is what you are recommending, the lowest bid? Yes, sir. Okay, we uh, need a motion to go ahead and accept the lowest bid. So moved. To approve second. We have a motion and second to accept and award the lowest responsible bidder. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Against, motion carries. Mayor, the difference on the bid amounts, just to give you yeah. the difference between the ones that are being reconstructed on the, or on the five homes, is that those ones, they're including the demolition of the existing home. On this one, this is uh, a piece of property that the City of Mission did the demolition on its own, and so the land belongs to the City of Mission, so this new contract does not include demolition work, and that's why you see that difference on, on those bids. 47. And we do have the deed? Yes, yes that's correct. Okay. Thank you, Ada. Thank you. Isabella? Good afternoon, Mayor and City Council. Item 4.10 is for the acceptance of the monthly tax report for the month of January 2017. The 2016 total adjusted tax levy was $20,077,998.82 and the amount of collections as of January 31, 2017 is $17,112,222.21 which represents 85.23% of the total tax levy. This item is now before you. I move for approval. Second, Mayor. We do have a motion and a second to go ahead and approve the tax collection report. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Gas motion carries. Item um, 411. Item 411 is for the approval of the January 2017 financial statements. The unadjusted total beginning fund balance for all funds was $40,882,772. 
Total revenues for the period were $13,186,625 and total expenditures were $8,688,070, mm. leaving an ending fund balance of $45,381,327. Total assets for the period were $171,558,426. Total liabilities are $65,913,149 resulting in total net assets of $105,645,277. This item is now before you. Um, we need a motion to go ahead and approve the financial report, financial statement. Move to approve. Second. We do have a motion and a second to approve the financial statement. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Yes, motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Bader. 412. Good afternoon, uh, Mayor, City Council members. Come before you seeking authorization to execute second and final one year renewal option for a roadside mowing and litter removal services. The contract terms were for one year with two one year renewal options based on 7.5% increase in price. Staff seeking authorization to extend contract for the second and final one year renewal option. Roadside mowing from uh, for, uh, $48.50 per acre to $52.14 .52 per acre. Litter removal from uh, 15 dollars and fifty cents per acre to sixteen dollars uh, and sixty six cents uh, per acre and spot, uh, spot litter removal from one dollar per acre to one dollar and eight eight cents per acre with gulf coast uh, contractors inc recommendation is based solely on estimated quantities and orders will be placed on a as needed basis throughout the one year term Again, staff recommendation is uh, to extend contract for the second and final one year renewal option with gulf coast contractors inc so, you want us to approve the authorization to execute the second and final? Yes. Yes, sir. And these are the services for the, the expressway yes. and San Luis Highway. Yes. Okay. We do need a motion to to authorize to execute second and final <coughs> one year renewal option. Move for approval, Mayor. Second. We do have a motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. This motion carries. Item uh, 413. Uh, yes, sir, uh, Mayor, City Council members. Item 4.13 is the is uh, to authorize the City Mission to enter into an agreement with Mr. Apolino Chapa for planning and utility services. Authorization is being requested uh, requested for the City Mission to enter into agreement with Mr. Apolino Chapa for plan review of new uh, residential subdivisions, commercial development, and provide utility location services to the City. Uh, Mr. Chapa has uh, 40 years of experience in the utility field and is uniquely qualified to locate water, sanitary sewer, and drainage lines within the City of Mission. Staff recommendation is authorized to enter into agreement with Mr. Apolonio Chapa. We do need a motion to go ahead and authorize this by the City Council. Move for approval, Mayor. Second. We do have a motion and a second to go ahead and authorize the City to enter into an agreement with Mr. Apolon Apolonio Chapa. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Yes, motion carries. 414, Robert. Yes, sir, Mayor, City Council members, item 4.14 is the authorization to award bid for the purchase of hot and cold mixed asphalt material for the Public Works Department. On January 23rd, uh, 2017, the City Council authorized staff to solicit bids for the purchase of hot and cold mixed asphalt for the Public Works Department. The City of Mission has accepted an open four bid responses for hot and cold mixed asphalt material. Staff recommends awarding to IOC Company LLC, who is the lowest responsible bidder meeting all specifications. Recommendation again is based solely on estimated quantities and orders will be placed on an as needed basis throughout the one year term. Again, staff recommendation is award bid to IOC Company LLC for the purchase of hot and cold mixed asphalt material. I move for approval, Mayor. Second, Mayor. We do have a motion and a second to go ahead and award um, the hot and cold asphalt materials for public works. So those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Yes, motion carries. Thank you. 415. Mr. Mayor and City Council, the Mission Police Department is requesting approval of a resolution in support of a submission of a grant application to the Office of the Governor for the 2016 Stone Garden Program Grant. 
The grant will allow the mission police mission police officers to to work overtime to increase patrol presence throughout the city and mission, especially in and around the U.S. Mexican border. Additionally, the grant will allow us the opportunity to purchase two mark police units for a patrol bureau. The total amount of the grant request is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. There is no cash match required by the city of Mission. The staff is requesting a favorable recommendation for the purpose of submitting the grant application. Did a motion to go ahead and approve the um, so resolution moved, 1494 supporting the um, submission of the grant? Second. Nobody made a motion? I, I made a motion, Mayor. We have a motion. Second. And a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Yes, motion carries. Resolution number. Hmm? That's it? No, sir, I got two other items. Okay. Next item, the Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention Advisory Board met with representatives from Doctors Hospital at Renaissance, Renaissance Behavior Center for a presentation depicting the need for a licensed behavioral and mental health facility within the city of Mission. The f facility would provide services to at-risk juveniles who suffer from behavioral and mental health issues. The facility licensed professionals would treat juveniles that require drug and alcohol rehabilitation, suicide prevention, understanding consequences, coping skills, anger management, and education planning. The Juvenile Justice uh, Delinquency <coughs> and Prevention Advisory Board gave a unanimous consensus in support of the facility in the city of Mission. Staff is requesting a favorable recommendation in support of the aforementioned resolution. We do need a motion to go ahead and approve Mayor, resolution. I shall move. Second. Resolution 1495. Do we have a motion and second? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Yes, motion carries. Next item, Mayor City Council. The City of Mission Police Department is requesting authorization to purchase computers and related equipment via U.S. Commodities IT Products and Service Contract 4400006644. It is our intent to purchase five desktop top computers, five laptops, four printers, two projectors, software license, and related equipment to have all the aforementioned equipment functional. The equipment will be utilized by our Criminal Investigations Bureau, Traffic Bureau, Patrol, and Training. The total cost of the project is $25,228.06. The aforementioned equipment will be purchased through the Mission Police Department Federal Drug Forfeiture Account. Staff respectfully requests authorization to purchase the computer equipment and related items. I move for approval. Second. We do have a motion and second to approve. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Against, motion carries. Would Thank you me. like to go, um, Martin, over this, uh, or judge, over this item on 416? On the, um, on the juveniles, uh, Renaissance Behavioral Center, Yes, yes, Mayor. Uh, we had a presentation by Marisa Castaneda, the CEO from DHR, and Mr. Paul Saldua, representing DHR, uh, to the Juvenile Justice uh, Advisory Board. And this is, they have, they currently have a building here in the City of Mission located on Griffin Parkway uh, between Glasscock and Sherry Road on the north uh, side of the uh, roadway there by Lone Star National Bank. Um, that facility they had there for a while. Right now they use it for a diabetes uh, education. Uh, they want to turn that facility itself to uh, for the purpose of assisting juveniles in our area. Now, right now there's current federal funding that they can utilize to give these services to juveniles. But in order to expand the services, they want to apply for several uh, grants, uh, both on the public sector and the private sector. Therefore, that's why they were requesting this resolution from the City Council in support of their program here in the City of Mission. And obviously, we, the Mission Police Department, along with Municipal Court, and our officers stationed at the different campuses in Mission Schools and Sherryland Schools would help in this program to obviously refer kids with that need assistance in this particular areas of concern. Right, so this is also um, an alternative incarceration program for basically juveniles between the ages of 10 to 16. And so any juvenile who's dealing with uh, having issues with alcohol abuse, drug abuse, or any uh, chemical dependent abuse can be uh, taken to this facility, Mayor and Council. Uh, the services will be provided, and this is where they would house uh, licensed professionals such as counselors, 
um, to deal uh, with the coping skills and anger management and education planning for the kids. And these are professionals like uh, psychologists and uh, administrators that handle this as well. Uh, to yeah. add to that, Mayor, also, since I was there at the presentation, they also use, are going to use this as a door of a network to network with other other uh, uh, other physicians as well as psychologists and psychiatrists that they have in their in their uh, in their services uh, list, that, uh, and this would create a a, a referral base. Uh, you know, as that that uh, will address a lot of the issues that our judges uh, our judges had uh, had mentioned on the onset of the juvenile justice advisory board uh, uh, <clears throat> board that we uh, that we initiated a few years back. Yes, sir. Well, it's a good program, so we need to stay on top of it. Yes, 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 yes Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Detained? No, 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 no. It's an in and out. It's an in and out. Yeah. It's a and also, services. Mayor, also the, yes, the other one, the, the, the main thing is that the site is going to be inside the city of Mission. Yes. So, so our citizens will be able to gain first, first-hand uh, contact as far as, uh, as far as the services are, are, are be available not only through the, the referral process but uh, walk-ins also. Yeah. And by family units also, that they'll be able to do, to provide that service for them. Well, I hope we can stay on top of it and see if we can get it done. Um, do you have any any comments? No, sir. No comments. I have no comments. So we need to go into executive session. So do need a motion for that. I move that we move into executive session pursuant to VTCA Government Code Section 551.001, Mayor. Second. Do we have a motion and second to go into executive session? Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Yes, motion carries. I move we reconvene, Mayor. Second. The motion is second to reconvene. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, yes, motion carries. Go ahead, sir. Mayor and Council, uh, on item 7.1A, there was no action to be taken on this item. This was just a consultation with the attorney regarding federal grant guidelines. Item 7.2A, consideration of sale of real property subject to condemnation being a 0.102 acre tract of land and being portions of 8th Street and Cummings Avenue of the original town site. If the council wishes to proceed, we would need a motion approving resolution number 1496, making a finding that Real Valley Switching Company or its affiliated company has the authority to condemn and that said condemning authority seeks to condemn a 0.102 acre tract of land and being portions of 8th Street and Cummings Avenue of the original town site of Mission for the public use of the railroad. The resolution will further find that compliance with Texas local government code is not possible under the current circumstances and therefore authorizes the mayor and or city manager to negotiate and convey said land pursuant to executive session and further execute any and all documents necessary to effectuate the conveyance. So move, Mayor. Second. Do we have a motion and a second? All those in favor? Aye. Signified by aye. saying aye. Aye. Next motion carries. What else? That's all we have, sir. We need a motion to adjourn. Motion. The motion is second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. We're adjourned.